All right, today I'm gonna to turn this old and dilapidated Hubble Freight car port into a All right, so this car port here I got for like five, six years ago. And I'm even surprised it uh, even lasts that long. And the original uh, uh, cover was already broken. And I have replaced it with the the top, the blue top, from also from Harbor Freight. And it's been about less than a year for this blue top, and it's starting to disintegrate. So today I'm going to take this down and build my own uh, car port with solar panel on the top. I've taken down the top and show you the top, what it looks like after 8 months of use. It survived through about 2 uh, rainy storm. I'm surprised that the grommet here even holds up after the storm. None of these were torn, but the top itself is disintegrating. Now it's really brittle. Really brittle. Especially the top part of the top where it faced the sun the most. And I've got some use and reclaim wood 2x4 for free. So my plan is I'm going to use all of these wood and whatever that I have uh, spending as little money as possible and make it as simple as possible. So let's get to it.
done here let me show you how I install this thing so there's a there's a horizontal bar that goes across to support the panel as you can see here and what I do is I tighten it up on one end I use a screw to tighten it down on the support beam like so and I only tighten it on one end. The other end, I keep it loose. That's because the solar panels got mounting holes on it. You can see here, there's a hole right there, there's a hole right there. And if you tighten it on, tighten the beam on both ends, now it's not possible to line up the brackets otherwise you're gonna have to drill holes on the bracket or you have to drill the holes on the panel to match it up let me give you a close-up of the holes on the panels and I'll show you what I mean so here are the holes the mounting holes and when I put my bracket here you can see the holes don't really line up so I can't put my screw into mount into the hole right so but because this end on the left here is loose I can move it around like that you see that so when I move I can adjust accordingly according to the holes on my metal bracket so I can move it in a little bit like so now they match you see now the holes match and because this piece of wood, usually they're not straight, especially used wood, they're a little bit bent one way or another. So you're gonna have to bend it anyway. So that way you can make it straight. Same here with this hole on this end. It doesn't really match my bracket. But I can, see, it doesn't really match, so I can't mount it right now. I can move. Can move it. support beam a little bit 
like so. Now it match. You see. Now I can put my screw and mount the bracket into the support beam. All right. So I think I'm done. And uh, I've got nine black panels and six uh, white aluminum panels. And the reason why I mix them up because I only have nine of these black panels. I wanted to have all black panels, but uh, I only have nine black panels right now. And um, you look on the other side, there's a little bit of room on the other side, extra room. Uh, that is, that's because uh, these black panels, also these aluminum panels, they are older panels and they are smaller than a st standard size panel nowadays. The standard size panel are a, lot, a little bit bigger. So if I got three standard size panels, it's going to fit uh, just fine and will cover that space over there. So that's, uh, that is, that's the space that uh, I want to uh, have when I wanted to uh, upgrade to bigger panels but for now this should be fine and I have two different kinds of panel uh, they, their specs are a little bit similar not the same I'm hoping that they I can combine them together in one system if not then uh, I can uh, split them into two systems uh, no problem with that. Now let me show you my level here a little bit. It's a little bit tilted that way. You can see there. So that's the way the water flows. So I want it to flow that way. And also this way. Tilted that way. So I want it to flow that way out. So I have to build this roof, it's flat, we have to build it in a way that it slanted a little bit for the water to flow. If not, then you know it's going to accumulate and uh, if water doesn't flow good, then uh, it's going to accumulate. It's not good for the roof, it makes it heavy. And uh, where I live, it doesn't snow, so a flat roof would be perfect. And because this is flat roof, uh, it's not uh, as efficient as a tilted roof. Uh, right now it's the winter and the sun is below the horizon. And uh, it's not as efficient as if I tilt my roof at an angle like that uh, toward the north. But uh, I would think that uh, a tilted roof will be more complicated to build and it's harder for me to install so I just want to make it simple and build a flat roof instead all right so this is what it looks like down below it's pretty big and fit I can fit uh, more than one car probably one and a half car inside this carport and uh, you see my ladder is still there. I haven't finished the project yet. I just completed putting the panel on the top. You can see here all the wires are hanging around. So uh, it's going to take me a while to uh, wire up everything together and uh, hook it up to my inverter. I can't wait to get it running. But uh, that's going to be another project because uh, this video is going to be long already. So, And this system for the uh, black panel have nine black panels. Each panel is 100, uh, 220 watts, totaling about 2 kilowatt. And I also have six uh, white aluminum panels and they are 185 watts each. So times six probably around one kilowatt so I have about three kilowatt of power on this roof this project 
although it looks simple um, it took me roughly around three weeks almost three weeks to build and because uh, I don't want to spend any extra money on it I want to build as simple as possible so I, I use all the uh, scrap wood to, to, to make a support beam you see the v-shape there and all the woods are, are used and reclaimed wood you see here still got the nail holes on it they all have nail holes on it so yeah it uh, took me over a little bit more than two weeks uh, to build the system and um, yeah it's a little bit long because I, uh, I got a day job and only do this in my free time and I'm the only one who do this you know bring the panel up and down and 99% uh, of the time uh, I do it all by myself just uh, a couple of times uh, somebody helped me but uh, most of the time I do it all by myself so that's why it took so long also, um, I didn't really spend any money on it. Uh, the wood is free. The paint is free. Let me show you the paint here. Just some used paint I got from somebody who gave it away for free. Uh, a few, a few buckets of paints. The only real money I spent, not really, but uh, you know, just some money I spent is uh, on these screws. I got this whole bucket from a garage sale for like five bucks with good good quality screws too. If you buy from a store this bucket it cost you a lot of money, Maybe around 20 30 bucks. Also this bracket I use a lot of this bracket. And uh Home Depot or low sell it for like five bucks for four of these which is a little bit expensive I mean I use a lot so I went to a dollar store and bought this same four pack for one dollar so that's a pretty good deal it's a good quality bracket too thick metal so all in all all in all I didn't really spend money on this frame the only real money I spend is on the solar panel and uh, the inverter so next I'm gonna hook it up to my inverter and it's gonna be my next video because uh, this video is getting real long alright so I will see you in the next video and I'm gonna show you how I connect everything together alright folks and uh, I will see you next time thanks for watching